Hey, how's it going? So today I'm coming to you with day number 34 inside of a 60 day video challenge. And the thing that I want to talk about is if you build it, will they come? You probably heard the concept of build it and they will come. One of the things that I do from a recreational standpoint is I play basketball. And the good thing is that I have a core group of individuals, maybe about nine or 10 people that I've been playing basketball with for probably the last three to four years. So just to kind of just give you some context, you have myself, I am, as of the recording of this, I'm 41 years old. Um, you have my son who's 17. So we have individuals that range from the age of 17 all the way through about the age of 65. Over the years, we've become very close with each other. So we understand each other from a career standpoint. We understand each other's nuances on the basketball court, so on and so forth. The place that we've been playing basketball at, um, although it was a great place uh, for us, there was some level of frustration on some of our parts. So let me just talk about my level of frustration. I'm not going to talk about the name of the place, but from a frustration standpoint, one of the things that we wanted to do at some point is we wanted to be able to play basketball more than once a week. But this place that we were going to, to play basketball, they are very activity driven. And what I mean by activity driven, there's just a lot of things that's going on. So from an open gym standpoint, from an availability standpoint, there's just not that much availability. So for a while, the guys and I were saying, man, we just want to be able to play basketball more. And that opportunity just never um, became available. However, you know, in um, about a year and a half ago, we were hit with a pandemic. And when we were hit with the pandemic, some of the activities, when the place reopened back up, some of the activities that they were having, they no longer had those activities when they first opened back up. So because they no longer had those activities when they first opened back up, it allowed, it allowed me and some of the guys to be able to play basketball more than just once a week. So we started playing basketball more than once a week. And then we moved it up to about three times, um, you know, a week. And some of the guys, right, started to return back to their normal life and started to return back to their normal schedule. And they just couldn't make it more than once a week. And one of the things that we have as part of this group of guys that we play with is we have a group chat. And inside of the group chat, one of the guys said to um, one of the members, one of the, one of the, one of the, um, one of the players, they said, Hey, you know what? I know you, I've become, I've come to know you very well over the past couple of years. Here's one thing I know about you. I know that you're very, um, you know, wealthy, right? Re wealthy is very relative, right? Depending on who it is that you're talking to. Not only are you very wealthy, but I know that you are always talking about investing in things. You're talking about investing in, in, um, in restaurants. You're talking about investing in warehouses. You're talking about making all of these multi-million dollar type of investments. Why don't you invest in a gym so that that way we, as a group of guys, as a group of core guys, we won't have the issue of worrying about when the gym is going to be available to us. So what this one guy said to the other guy via the group chat was build it, and if you build it, we will come, <laughs> right? So that's usually the case, right? When you build something, let's just think about this, right? If I build a business for the very first time, you're probably going to have some people that's going to come. The people who are in your immediate circle, those individuals are going to come. That's usually, that's usually not the problem though, right? The problem is not that I'm not going to be able to get no one to come. The problem is usually, will I get enough people to come so that that way I can make this endeavor profitable? So then the question, um, you know, going back to the basketball analogy, let's just say if this guy listened to um, this other individual, took this other individual's advice and decided that, yes, I'm going to open up, um, you know, this gym because it's going to solve a problem. It's going to solve a problem for his immediate core group of guys. After you know, let's just say from a resource standpoint, we are going to be using this gym maybe four or five hours out of the week, right? Four or five hours out of the week, that still leaves a lot of time, right? And it still leaves a lot of things that this person needs to be able to, a lot of gaps that this person needs to be able to fill in order to be profitable. So from a profitability standpoint, there's just so much more that he's got to be able to do 
in order to make this whole operation in order to make this whole operation work so when i think about this from a business analogy i just built this business you are a coach and or you are a consultant you just built this business for the very first time you have your immediate group of individuals who already know you decide to engage they decide to come on board now the big question is how do you expand beyond those group of individuals so that that way you could be a lot more um a lot more profitable because the way from a business standpoint one of the ways for you to be profitable from a business standpoint is you have to be able to sell to strangers your friends and your family those group of people they are amazing but they're not they're not large enough from a sustainability standpoint to be able to sustain your business and one of the ways right going in going into the concept of coaching and consultant one of the ways for you to be able to validate that for you to be able to say okay i have validated i have my friend and or my family i have a small group of people that took me up on my offer offer how do i expand this to a larger audience and one of the best ways to do that is with information is with training think about this now if i run an ad on facebook i'm going to use facebook ad for example and i am offering a free training what i have noticed that a group of the people who take me up on that free training some of those individuals will go ahead and and take me up on whatever the next step is that i have to offer it's not a hundred percent of those individuals a small percentage of those people will take me up on that offer you may say that you may say to me that well it's just a free training um you know what's the big deal it's a huge deal because there's a lot of different components that you have to get right when you are providing free information and if you don't get those things right that just means that no one's going to take the next step with you i remember one of the things that i was doing for a very long time is i was hosting workshops for free and oftentimes there were quite a few times that i wanted to host the workshop i created a content for the workshop i announced the workshop i marketed the workshop and guess what happened no one came to the workshop and the reason why no one came to the workshop is that thing number one i got thing number one wrong meaning that i didn't understand the individual that i was speaking to so because i didn't understand that individual i didn't understand that person's pain point because of that right i didn't necessarily get anyone to attend my workshop right so when i say one of the ways that you can go ahead and validate and be able to sell to people outside of your immediate circle is with training there's just a lot of things from a marketing standpoint that you have to um you know get right and once you get it right and people decide to take you up on that offer that in itself is enough for you to be able to expand and that is enough for you to be able to go beyond those group of individuals because if you think about it if you are running a marketing campaign and that marketing campaign is for something for free and you have a hundred people that say yes that they want they want that free training they plan on attending that free training well out of a hundred people you may have one or two people that says you know what this information is valuable enough what is next is the next step a course is the next step a coaching program whatever the next step is some of those people will go ahead and take that next step with you but if no one registers for the free training no one takes you up on that free offer it means that you have a um a problem so in order to solve the problem of um build it if you build it will they come i think you can easily validate that um you know with information i wouldn't necessarily say oh well there's just information or well there's just training there's just a lot that's just that that goes into it you have to get the audience right you have to you have to get the person right so who is this thing for once you get that right you have to get the targeting right you have to get the relevancy right so there's a couple of different things inside of your marketing process that you have to get right in order for someone who's a complete stranger to take you up on an offer in order for someone who's a complete stranger to sign up with you even if even though it's um it's for free to me based on my experience and based on some of the things that i've seen um when you get that right that is enough for you to say okay i think i'm on to something and i think i can use um my business my knowledge my expertise whatever business that you are in i think this business has a chance of surviving 
beyond my immediate circle, beyond the people who already know me. So I think you can definitely, um, you know, build it. They will come provided you go outside of your immediate circle. If you happen to be catching this live, do me a favor and hit pound live. And if you happen to be catching this via the replay, do me a favor and hit pound replay. That's it for today. I'll talk to you soon.